Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today was an example on the topic that is AC or the dynamic resistance. So let me uh, write somewhere here. This is an example. Okay. So what do we have to do in this question is for the given characteristics. You are given the characteristics curve. Determine the AC resistance at a value of 2 milliampere and 25 milliampere. And then you also find the, the, the DC resistance at each level and you compare them. So, the method that we discussed in the last video, that we have to find the, 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 the resistance, the point where we have to find the resistance, we draw a tangent line at that point. So, here we have to find it at ID corresponding to 2 milliampere. So, this is the point at 2 milliampere. We have uh, uh, V, the current, uh, the V uh, is equal to 0 0.7 and I will keep be checking it over here. Yes, so now what we do, we draw a tangent line. So, so, so let me draw a tangent line in this way. Alright, so, so this is a tangent line. Now what happens, I've got two more points, this point and that point. So have a look, at this point, I have a value of VD and the value of the current ID is 4. Alright, so let me have the part 1. The red color represents the tangent line. The red color represents the tangent line. So what did we have? This value, this value, if we draw it through a proper scale, so this value is 0 0.76 volts. This one, this is a 0 0.76 volts and this one is a 0 0.6 or something like this. So I will keep checking it over here. This is 0 0.65 volts or I will take the book with me. So this is 0 0.65 volts. Alright, so we have these two values now, we have the change of potential, we have the change of uh, current, so we can find the AC resistance and that is given by RD is equal to the change of potential divided by the change of current and the change of potential, so have a look, 0.76 minus 0.65, minus 0.65. And similarly, now the change of current, so have a look, the change of current, the maximum current is 4 and over here the current is 0. So 4 minus 0 and this is in milliamperes. So equals 0 0.76 minus uh, this 0.65 equals 0 0.11 divided by 4 into 10 to the power negative 3 and this implies that the resistance, the AC resistance at this point is 27.5 ohms, 27.5 ohms, all right, now we also have to find the DC resistance at this point, so let me also find directly the DC resistance, so RD is directly equal to the potential value at this point divided by the current value, so the potential value is 0 0.7 and the current is 2, right? milliamps so it is 0 0.7 and it is divided by a 2 milliamperes so this gives you a value of where is it yes this is 350 ohms so 350 ohms so have a look a very very big difference we have okay now part two part two so uh, this is now required at a, at a level of what uh, 25 all right so at 25 we draw a, a, a tangent line all right so let this be the tangent line and the maximum value let's say represents a value of 30 and the minimum let's say represents a value of 20 so if you have a look from the book the 30 is at 0 0.8 volts and for 20, the value is, uh, where is it? 
आई डी इज थर्टी फोर ई डी इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट एट एंड आई डी इज ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट सेवन एट सो दिस वैल्यू दिस वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एट एंड द रिक्वायर्ड इज ट्वेंटी फाइव वोल्ट सो एट ट्वेंटी फाइव वॉट एवर बी द वैल्यू ऑफ वोल्ट इज ऑल राइट so what we need is that we have drawn the tangent line the green color represents in this case the tangent line so whatever uh, the value where you require the resistance you just draw a tangent line okay you take some maximum you take some minimum at which you have the values of the the voltage all right so over here now the resistance is again the ac resistance is given by the change of voltage to the change of current So I will look. The voltage has changed from 0.8 to 0.78, 0.8 minus 0.78, and this will be divided by the change of current is from 30 to 20. So 30 minus 20, and this is in milliamperes. So 0.8 minus 0.78 will give you a 0.02 volts, 0.02 volts, and Divided by 10 milliamperes, so the AC resistance at this point comes out to be what? 2 ohms. 2 ohms. All right. Now again, the DC resistance at the same point. So the DC resistance R D is again equal to the voltage at this point divided by the current at this point. So this is not changing. So the volt, the current at this point we know is 25 milliamperes. But the voltage, so I do not know it over here. The voltage is zero point seven nine volts. This voltage, this at a value of twenty five. So this I will write over here. This is zero point seven nine volts. So like, so we have the resistance equal to zero point seven nine divided by twenty five. milliamperes which turns out to be 31.62 ohms so again we have a greater difference so you need to keep in mind you need to have a look at the question what is asked you know if the dc resistance is asked and you find out the ac resistance so have a look we have a difference of 2 and 30 31 have a look 27 and 350 so you need to be very careful in this case All right so this was just a small example on the AC or the dynamic resistance see you in the next lecture with the third part of the resistance which is the average AC resistance till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye